Tomorrow is listening. 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 Tonight's story, Hello Tomorrow.
This is our new signature tune, which will be in your shop soon. Check it out. Like all pirates, they talk their own language and have their own special style of delivery. This is our new signature tune, which will be in your shop soon. Check it out. Like all pirates, they talk their own language and have their own special style of delivery. This is our new signature tune, which will be in your shop soon. Check it out. Like all pirates, they talk their own language and have their own special style of delivery. This is our new signature tune, which will be in your shop soon. Check it out. Like all pirates, they talk their own language and have their own special style of delivery. This is our new signature tune, which will be in your shop soon. Check it out. Like all pirates.
I'm talking post, post, post future. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Hoy en el Blaze preguntamos, ¿qué significa un nuevo futuro para ti? Estaremos hablando con ustedes, nuestra radio escucha, sobre los problemas que nos enfrentan hoy en día. El edificio está en llamas. ¿Dejaremos que se queme? Los niños nos escuchan. I mean, I mean, 
If you're just joining us, this is New Future City Radio, broadcasting seven days a week, 24 hours a day, from rooftops unknown. Increasing the bandwidth, transmitting and receiving, sending signal, because tomorrow is listening.
1045. Number one. Hot 1045. Number one. Hot 1045. Number one. Hot 1045. Number one. Hot 1045. Number one. Number one. Hot 104.5. Number one. New Future City Radio on the lot radio. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. You got you got another mic? Yeah. Oh, perfect. You guys gonna share on that one? Yeah, yeah, we can go back and forth on this. Check, check, check. We got Damon Locks. Hey, how you doing? We got Rob Mazurk. Hello, sweet people of planet Earth. <laughs> um, thank you for the music. Thank you, thank you for having us. Um, uh, let's just start with like how New Future City Radio came to be. Sure. Um, Rob and I have been playing together since at least 2010, maybe, with the Exploding Star Orchestra. And um, I, I was asked to do a performance at a place called Oxbow with uh, Ken Vandermark, a mm -hmm. saxophone player. Um, and Ken couldn't do it, so I suggested Rob. Um, and uh, when uh, Rob said uh, yes, he also suggested that we book some studio time. And uh, I, I said, yeah, that'd be great. But we've um, improvised many times together, and we could probably do that without without discussing it. But I thought, let's set some parameters and set a set of prompts for ourselves. So I think one of the first things that I texted to him was the words, New Future City Radio, as a prompt. And then we went from there. Talk a little bit about um so that's the logistics of it talk a little bit about trumpet and sampler and putting it together and improvising with that because um you know having listened to the record i was not prepared yesterday for what the show was like which was which is a very very flowing improvised show but obviously improvised with all these pieces that are already fit in place so talk a little bit rob about your relationship to improvising with samplers as a as a trumpet player and uh, and and also incorporating them into the the orchestra you know it was it was it was funny somebody at the show yesterday said to me after the show was like it's weird seeing these two people who are not playing for the most part their primary instruments um and i was like well i do think that they are doing so it's just in a different context yeah i mean i you know I've, I've spent a long time just trying to put sound with sound anyway so you know and making music comes credit you know starting 25 years ago i think and uh go a little further and piecing things together and and doing cut up stuff um th the whole idea of composition you know uh is just based on sound so, so when when i put this stuff together whether it's a trumpet, whether it's a plate breaking, whether it's a, a sample from the modular synthesizer. Do a lot of stuff with synthesizers over the years, and especially uh, with the modular synthesizers. So a lot of stuff off the record it is, is directly from, from that material, these compositions that I work on every day. And I have a, a, just a gigantic uh, you know, treasure trove of uh, uh, sound samples and bits that I can use for things. So when, when me and Damien came together, I, I mean, I would say that Damien's uh, one of the main instruments. His, his, his samplers and the way he approaches electronics, um, I think it's even with the voice. Um, I feel that way, too, with myself with the trumpet. You know, the trumpet stuff I've been doing, I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's the same thing. It's an instrument that makes sound. So uh, 
when we got together, this thing was just supernatural because we had been working together in the Exploding Star for, for a number of years. And even before that, um, just knowing each other for so long, um, we just got together uh, with, I don't even think we played each other the samples we were going to do. We just we showed up at the thing, the sound check, and it was so just magic th that, you know, when we jumped in the studio, um, we had the same kind of experience of just this, like, this magic flow that uh, is based on um, two very specific vocabularies, but similar in a lot of ways. Right on, right on. Uh, so tell me a little bit about sort of the mutation of the work from, because I, I guess I intuited that, s that somehow the, the beginnings or the seeds of this were uh, things that were happening in Exploding Star Orchestra, right? Um, or yes or no, or like, uh, wa was there an idea, like maybe that's just texturally in terms of samples and, and the playing or did it organically come to be of like, okay, th there's this thing that we want to say here as just the two of us. I think it was, I, I think it was more intuitive than that. Uh, we've been playing with together an Exploding Star Orchestra, and in doing so, also I've been doing artwork for a variety of Rob stuff, and we've been in a lot of, like, communication. We talk about, like, you know, over the pandemic, we talked about what it's like to, to, to make work when you you can't play, and we were talking about all these things, about what playing over Zoom was like, and so... Playing what? Playing over Zoom oh, during the pandemic, Zoom, you know, so. and, and um, I think that the communication like was more about art we talked about also being visual artists you know so it was more about kind of connecting the art together and the prompts were like i i don't really care what we do like the, rob could bring any instrument he wanted and we just went for it from there you know um so i think it was just like a kind of br broadening like i think it just broadened our intuition and our language that we speak together so it's just a chance so i think the the having the samplers communicate with each other like specifically was like a new version of communication but uh, everything else was just kind of like expanding expanding our dialogue does that make sense yeah absolutely absolutely anything to add to that sure like it's just it's just it's spontaneous to you guys <laughs> um when uh, so you said that the literally the first prompt was New Future City Radio. So that was where the that first idea was like, oh, let's do it as like almost a radio transmission narrative. Right. Yeah, I mean it's it, it started with that phrase, and then you know we moved from there. So when we hit the studio, we recorded all this stuff, and uh, I think afterwards you had collected Damon had collected. Um, station IDs from various people around the world. So part of the thing was to open up to the world as well, not just our, our own world, but open up to the whole world. And uh, um, that was brilliant. So we, the, the, but really fairly few edits that, uh, that we did based on those uh, ID things that just seemed to be the glue that, that just made everything absolutely flow and work. Mm -hmm. So it was like, uh, 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 a, a, you know, it's kind of a revelation uh, when, when, when Damon inserted that stuff in there, um, right? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's actually fantastic to kind of grasp the whole thing. The, 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 I the idea of a radio station as, like, the sort of the, the narrative of something, that's that's been done. But it's really interesting to think about it within this moment in time, particularly with the phrase that pops up throughout you know, the, the tagline for New Future City Radio is... Tomorrow's Listening. Yeah, Tomorrow's Listening, right? Which uh, which uh, which has this, like, you know, it has the Sun Ra vibe. It also has the vibe of uh, just, you know, time and sound are eternal, right? Um, and the, the sound that you're making right now is also eternal, you know? Um, what? How did you come up with, uh, and this is more of maybe a prompt to talk about your individual stuff coming to this idea of New Future City Radio because it's got it's got a futurism vibe, 
It's got a community vibe. It's got uh, a revolutionary vibe. Um, like, what were some of the things? I, I, I listened to the show yesterday and started thinking about it in a way that I didn't when I listened to the record as the, a double D and Steinsky, l the lesson type of like flow collage, but with completely, completely new pieces. Tell me a little bit about the kind of things that you were thinking of in putting together that narrative and the idea of Tomorrow is Listening and, and what could be on this like, you know, underground pirate radio station that emanates from the two of you. Well, um, I think I thought about it in the way of really what does the collaboration look like? Uh -huh. And for me, I was like, how do we create something new that also encapsulates who we are and how we can bring our full selves to the, the project? And so what does that balance look like? So it has everything and we're not like each of us isn't overpowering one or the other and I feel really proud that a lot of the a lot of who we are individually can be found in the the piece and it makes sense with us together so if you've been down with Rob Mazurik's work this whole time you're gonna hear full Rob within this project and if you have come to my music and are interested in the things that I'm bringing you'll come to that fully here and um, I think that probably you know I, I probably was like well I, I don't want to be the only actual voice on the record and I wanted it to, to, to have this voice of another thing like the, the, the pirate radio uh, idea so then I was like so I, I was like I'm going to bring in a bunch of other people and I'm going to call upon people that I've met on tour or I work with here in Chicago to bring those voices into the thing so that in reality hi hypothetically when you put the record on you're not thinking oh this is a, a duo, a album. duo yeah, album yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. actually thinking about trans transmissions from somewhere else yeah, yeah. does that answer your question it, 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 do it does for you okay yeah. Here's I don't know if I can add much to that other than what you're already reiterating what you're talking about. I mean, you know, we both have very distinct individual uh, vocabularies, you know, that we use, and, and at times very different. And that's the reason why I think it makes it work as well, because it's, uh, uh, you have that, you have that, not clash, but you have that, you know, the way things are moving together. And, and I, pirate radio, man, anything goes. So, so there's no real restrictions, right? So, um, and then poetically speaking, you know, Damon's words are, are, are quite different than, you know, yes, yes, yes is quite different than splitting Blitz Reverb adage. You know what I'm <laughs> so it's like, you know, a few people have, have read that and they're like, oh, that, that has to be a Rob title or something, you know. So, so these, these texts that we put together where, where you're not sure where it's coming from or if it's coming from outside, you know, um, what's happening with that. Um, and then you also have these incredible um, sanenesses that, that me and Damon project because we know each other for so long and love each other, you know? So it's, so it's really, really, that, that, that's a big, important thing, you know? Yeah. If you don't mind me putting a rug in my pirate radio. Well, <laughs> that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay. Um, Talk a little bit about um, playing this live. Um, you know, uh, initially, it, uh, listening to the album, it feels like very much a studio thing just because of the way it's cut up. But I, I maybe that's my my um, limitation in thinking about like what you could do with sampling because that's what that that's what seemed like an incredible, incredible thing that was happening on stage last night is how your two samplers were talking with to each other and, and in sync with one another. At the end of one track, I don't remember which one, you, you gave each other a bath, like, like whoa, that, that landed that exactly <laughs> like we were supposed, <laughs> like we wanted it to work. Talk a little bit about putting, putting that kind of stuff together. You know, you work with Black Monument Ensemble and um, that incorporates the sampler into a live band. You have incorporated uh, Damon's sampler into your big orchestra, among other projects. And, and your sampler. 
Yeah. Oh, in your own sampler. Oh, so yeah. So talk maybe talk a little bit about um, putting putting something like that together live as a duo, where there are no other people to carry or bring into. Well, I have a question for you first. Okay. I can answer that. But okay. how? What was the translation for you, like from listening and having that experience, and maybe like processing the conceit of mm -hmm. the project and then going to see it live it flowed so much better live like for me like it was it was like i listened to i listened to the album and it it it, it was the way that samples are you know it's like i mean thematically it, it flowed but sonically last night i felt like it flowed i don't know whether it had something to do with this uh, incredible like percussion contraption that had some of some of the some of the abilities to like bridge things but like but there were it was a lot less choppy as a, the way that the recording was you know so so that's almost partly where my question is coming from is like whoa you made two samplers and a trumpet and percussion and like and, and theremin did you have like a like a you have a yeah, theremin, yeah. um like all these things happening Absolutely. that like uh, like and it flows. How did did the live conception of that come together? Yeah, I think that that is a is a result of learning the language. Uh -huh. You know, we create the language when we made the pieces, and then in the performance, we actually, you know, since we hadn't done it before, we have to figure out how do we how do we do the language? How do we and and each time we play, we learn more. And even with the setup, us facing each other and having the equipment, you know, face to face, we, I can see when Rob's going to touch a hit button, or I'm. That gonna, was, that was that, I, I think that was uh, even it, cool. yeah, it was great. It was it was a great visual to see the two of you like up against one another. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think that there's like the the concept of the music and the the thing that we brought to the listening experience, and then there's the like the physical manifest manifestation of it. And then also like continuing the idea, you know, like how do you continue to feel like ideas are like transmitting from another place? So there's like a physicality to that transmission as well. Mm -hmm. So I think hypothetically for me, I just want it to seem like things are coming from like left field and right field and outer space and then like something explodes out of something else. So that I imagine that the next set of recordings that we do will probably like we'll probably approach it in a way that was a little different than we approach this because of our because of this experience. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um. Well, and yeah. And plus, well, you know, we we played like how many shows? Uh, five or six. Yeah. We played five or six shows before we even did the first this this record release thing that we uh -huh. did in Chicago and here. Um, Developing the stuff and already the stuff is that was the stuff in Brazil. Um, no, we we, we did did we play in Brazil? No, no, we didn't do it in Brazil. Uh, you no, did Skopje? we did Skopje. We did Rome. We okay. did Brescia, Brescia uh -huh. Italy, um, Novara. Not you know, so before the um, recording. Yeah, okay. all all before the thing. So so we we're yeah learning the, the these languages and how to how to present them because it almost seems this stuff is on the it almost seems, seems impossible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? And and then you know just like the the, the first show we did, just like the recording session, just like everything else, it, it's just happening so naturally and real. And and also we haven't talked about spirituality that much, but the, the spirituality of the thing, um, you know, these bells are, are I take them everywhere. It, it, it brings the mother energy because mm -hmm. my mother made these and she passed away. Mm -hmm. So it's like like that type of thing. And also thinking about some of our our you know close friends who passed away, like mm -hmm. Jamie Branch, mm -hmm. who, who yeah. her passed spirit, in a tour. Her spirit was definitely yeah. in the room last night. And, yep. and she's 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 there. So that whole aspect of the thing. And also we always bring. It, it always seems like we bring something different to every. Although we've only done a few things. But even on these shows, Damon surprised me with a few new samples that I hadn't heard, and I was like, "Whoa!" You know, like it's like, "Let's go there." You know, and then and it's immediate, and it's definite, and there's no there's no stumbling about it. It's like we have this uh, uh, a way of articulating um, these ideas and this vocabulary with uh, uh, with with this with this joy.
joy and semi-preciseness and also stumbling uh, th that just seems to work yeah. you know and it's uh it's it's just it's just a pleasure stumbling as a choreography yeah okay. Um, totally, totally, totally. Um, I guess the last question is, what's next for Zeke? Last question. What's next for New Future City Radio? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what, what's next, Rob? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, we'll most likely play some more shows, you know, and, and keep developing this idea. So it's like, it, it seems like... Um, something that can evolve over a, a long period of time or short period of time I don't know but but the possibilities are endless with uh, with 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 this type of sound thing that we're doing because we can really grab sound from from anywhere and try to make something uh, uh, um, illuminating with it I think that's yeah I think that's great I don't know how to switch all right. Well, I, I'm 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 just wondering who to switch to. Uh, is there is there somebody who is? Um, turn it up, turn it up. Like that. All right. Now that we're done. Now that we're done, turn it up. All right. Um, Damon Lox. Rob Mazurik. New Future City Radio. Um, I believe we are going to be joined by people playing music now. Uh, my name is, by the way, Piotr Orlov. I do a show here called Dada Strain. Um, Dada Strain music. Check it out every fourth Friday at 10 a.m. I play the music that these two gentlemen make on a pretty regular basis. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Is that coming through? Yeah. Are you all ready? So we Yeah, no, <laughs> they are. Okay. <laughs> All right. Come on. You want to? Uh, oh, you ready? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, I, uh, I want to take. I want to get a picture with the two of you when uh, when you guys are oh, yeah. are packed up. Let's do a sure. sound check. <laughs> no, let's not. Can we that. take a film picture? Take I brought I brought my camera. Okay, let's get Pappy back. Good. Oh, you're happy. Yeah. Okay. No worries.
because I didn't like it before. Oh, because you didn't like it. He's got SP, which could do RCA to RCA, yeah. but he's got it going X, uh, RCA XLR. And then Ashley has, oh. it'll be RCA. RC
check, check. Check, check, check. This is QC. Taste of Chicago. Earlier you heard New Future City Radio. Rob Zurich. Damon Locks. Also in conversation with Piotr Orlov.
Lot Radio, out here with family, friends, Chicago. QC Radio, Lot Radio, let's go. Mejiapa, starting y'all off with some beats. Produced by family out of Chicago, uh, Cleveland. Pablo, it's a demo. This next one is 1111 from Diddy's Volume 1. Oh, yeah. Oh. Don't 
This one goes out to all the forest bays, anyone who loves forests, anyone who loves nature, forest bay. so much, Magiapa, M-E-G-I-A-P-A, this is from Diddy's volume two, soon come, much love to each and every one of you, tuning in, my family, Buffalo, Cleveland, Cincy, let's go. (laughs) 